surf report. Well, <clears throat> voice is still absolutely horrible, but today uh, was really great. Well, to start off, um, I woke up at five for my morning prayer, and then uh, I to, I was I thought I was gonna con consistently start feeling good, but that wasn't the case. Um, so today morning I felt a little bit horrible, but then, hey, I already woke up, right? So might as well, uh, do my morning prayers. So did my 108 bows. That was super hard today. Anyway, uh, got, went out with the dogs, had them poop, and then, uh, set out to surf because I really wanted to, uh, start moving my body again. And at the time yesterday when I was planning for this, I was a feel, I was feeling a lot better. But I was like, holy fuck. Like, I'm feeling a little hot and feverish, and I'm just, like, really not, like, uh, at the peak, but I'm still, like, functional, so should I go or not? And then I was like, you know what? I always, uh, one of the karmic habits that I'm trying to break with my prayers in the first place is this constant habit of, like, making excuses and not going to some things that I want to. So I was like, you know what? Like, if I'm gonna not surf, I'm gonna at least go to the beach and then not surf. And then, so I was like, okay. Uh, got myself to come out and then drove here and now I'm here in Santa Monica and uh, you know uh, still like wearing my wetsuit uh, my wetsuit it makes me feel pretty hot because it's fairly thick but today morning even with the wetsuit it was like really cold uh, my body was feeling cold that's how sort of like feverish I was but anyway um, proceeded uh, said I was gonna you know like let's have, let's have a light like a uh, surfing session and then uh, met with one of the usual surfers here uh, at, at the local beach in Santa Monica. And so I said hi. And then uh, as I was walking out, um, he was observing the ocean. And then um, he he looked at me. He was like, oh, you're going to have a really great practice day. And then um, at first I didn't recognize him. So I was like, oh, I hope I do. And then uh, I was like, after I went to the beach, I'm like, oh, wait, it was that guy. But why I'm saying this, why I'm telling you this is um, the guy today uh, personally took me under his wing for a brief uh, lesson because he saw me struggling a little bit. Part of the struggle was because I didn't have really uh, the energy to kind of like, uh, you know, surf like my usual uh, with my energy level. But I guess that's kind of a good thing because um, when you don't have like the explosiveness, you rely a lot on your technique just like jujitsu. But anyway, he saw me struggle and he was like, hey, uh, I want to give you two advice. Uh, number two, number one, uh, you're paddling too late. Like uh, for your board, it takes about 10 paddles to match the maximum speed. And at the maximum speed, you want to be at the slope of the wave. And I was like, because um, one of the recent YouTube videos I saw said like six strokes, right? But that was, of course, like, assuming uh, not, like, the board type that I had, which is, like, a soft foam, like, a relatively large board for beginners. So I was like, oh, right, like, I can't just take everything for face value, right? And then so I started doing 10 strokes, and guess what? Like, the speed actually matches now. And number two, he said, <clears throat> I'm too back on the board. Which makes sense because I'm a beginner and I want to prioritize safety because I don't want to keep nose diving. But what that does is because I'm so on the board, I'm creating all this drag with me. So instead of like uh, proceeding through the wave like this or any body of water like this, because I'm like this, I'm basically making my job super hard for myself. And I was like, wait. What the fuck? That makes so much sense. And then so he said, try to keep the nose already tipped up a little bit, but try to keep the nose as parallel to the water as possible. So I was like, okay, let me try that. And then guess what? Like, uh, turns out you really don't need a lot of a uh, speed. The wave doesn't need that much momentum to pick you up. If your board isn't, if you're not like in your own way. So really big lesson today right not just in terms of like surfing techniques but how much we tend to be in our own ways right um that's number one for for today breakfast i bought some strawberries number two the thing that i learned today is that you know 
we think we need all these external conditions, right? For us to be successful. Because I thought, oh, it, this must be because I'm on a beginner board. Oh, it must be because I'm not in, like, the waves aren't really that great for a beginner. No, man. Um, Billy, come on. Um, but, of course, it takes about, like, uh, the number of tries I kind of tried this by myself to come to this understanding. But you really don't need a lot, turns out. When you have everything... Um, in the technique department, when you have everything in the like uh, understanding department, when you have under uh, everything in the practice department, right? So that was a very big lesson for me um, in everything, right? Um, not just surfing. Like, don't try to make um, purchases that you think will improve your situation, but instead work with what you have maximize working with what you have and then when you do make incremental upgrades it'll feel like a quantum jump and um, today was one of those days where it really did feel like a quantum jump and i didn't get a chance to say bye to him because um he went after that lesson uh, he went far away for his uh, waves but the next time i see him i'm gonna th i'm gonna say thank you so much but anyway you can see i'm already uh, even even right now you can still see i'm kind of like drooping so um Anyway, gonna tr start driving back home, but uh, yeah, what a wonderful day at the beach, uh, lots of lessons, and uh, what a great day of surf. See you in the next video.